Good morning, second grade. Today is lesson 44 in our phonics series. We are going to start by reviewing some spelling sounds. So I'm going to say the sound and I want you to echo the sound and write the letters that make the sound on the line. So you need to have your spelling and high frequency word practice page. We are going to start with number one. Number one, oh. Ooh. L, final, L, L. Remember the final L, L is for the floss rule. Another sound that follows the floss rule is for number two, S, S, final, S, S. Number three, or, or, combination O, R, or. Number four, er, er, combination E, R, er. Number five, uh, uh. Short U says uh. Number six, th. th. Digraph TH says th. Number seven, ooh, ooh. Digraph OO says ooh. Number eight, E, E. E, E, comma, E, final E, E. Those are the spellings for E. Number nine, qu, qu. Combination Q, U says qu. Under the review words, we will practice spelling. Number 10, spell the word class. Class is spelled C L A S S, class. Number 11, spell the word cork, cork. Cork is spelled C-O-R-K. There is the consonant sound before the K, so we just need K. Number 12, spell the word sick, sick. S. I C K, sick. There's a vowel sound before the k, so we use digraph C K. Now let's practice spelling some sight words. Number 13, put, put. P U T, put. Number 14, pull, pull. Pull is spelled P-U-L-L. -L. And a word that rhymes with pull for number 15, full, full. F-U-L-L. Now, who remembers how to show dialogue when we are writing? We use quotation marks, very good. And what punctuation do we put right before the quotation marks? We put a comma, right. But sometimes the dialogue comes first and then we tell who's speaking. 
So when this happens, we put a comma just inside the final quotation marks. So listen to this sentence and repeat after me. Tell me where the bundle of wood is, said Tad's sister. Tell me where the bundle of wood is, said Tad's sister. So the dialogue comes first. So we are going to start with the quotation marks. And like every sentence, we are going to start with a capital letter. Tell me where the bundle of wood is and that is what she said so we will put a comma and then quotation marks tell me where the bundle of wood is comma quotation marks and then we'll end with said Tad's sister. And a period goes out the end. Tell me where the bundle of wood is, said Tad's sister. We are going to set our practice sheet aside when you are finished with your sentence. Echo these words and tell me what they all have in common. Handshake, woodpile, shellfish. What do handshake, woodpile, and shellfish all have in common? They are all made up of two words. That's right. So who knows what we call a word that is made up of two other words? A compound word. A compound word is two words that come together to form one new word. So let's look at these words and see how they are coded. So I have handshake, woodpile, shellfish. Let's look at handshake first. Where can I divide the two words? Right, between the D and S. You want to divide compound words between the two words that make the word. So now we can just code the first word, hand. The A is short, so we need a brevi. And let's code shake. We have digraph SH to underline. Then we have A consonant E, macron above the A, cross out the silent E. Hand, shake, hand, shake. A handshake is the shaking of hands. So when you're coding compound words, the accent usually belongs on the first word. So I'll put my accent mark before the dividing line. Okay. So let's look at wood pile. Where will I divide the compound word? Between the D and P. So let's code wood. Digraph OO. Pile has I, consonant E, macron above the I, cross out the sneaky E. The first word is accented. Okay. Shellfish. Put your dividing line between the L and the F. Shell has digraph SH. Brevi above the short E. Brevi above the I in fish, underline digraph SH. Again, the first word is accented. So when you are spelling a compound word, you can break it apart into the two separate words. So if we wanted to write the word toothbrush, we can spell tooth. T O O T H and then brush B R U S 
H. When you put those two words together, you made a compound word. So let's go back to our worksheets. On the back side of your spelling and high frequency words, on number one, we are going to write the compound word himself. So first we can write him, H-I-M, and then we don't do any spaces. This is one word. So self is S-E-L-F. So himself put together is H-I-M-S-E-L-F. Put them together as one word. Okay. Number two, let's spell bedtime. Bedtime. B. E D T I M E. Bedtime. And number three, let's spell campfire. So spell the word camp and then the word fire. Campfire is spelled C A M P. F-I-R-E. Now you can practice reading and spelling your high frequency words. Choose two to write complete sentences. Let's move on to our worksheet. Worksheet number 44. First, we are going to use the words in the box to make compound words. So which word can we put at the end of cook to make a compound word? The words we have to choose from are back, tub, book, mark, card, stick. Cook book. So let's use the word book. B-O-O-K. Cook book. Number two, horse, horse back, horse back. Number three, let's choose a word from the box to make a compound word. We start with bath, bathtub. That is one of our pictures, bathtub. Number four, what word can we put at the end of lip to make a compound word? Stick makes lipstick. That is another picture. Number five, what can we put with book? to make a compound word. Bookmark. Bookmark. That is showing our last picture. And so we're left with card. Does post postcard sound like a compound word? Postcard? Yes, very good. All right, let's read the paragraph at the bottom and answer some questions. Corn on the cob comes from a grass plant. It is picked from a big green plant. The plant stem is hard like bamboo. The kernel is the seed that is planted to make more corn. There is dense corn, flint corn, sweet corn, popcorn, and wax corn. Most kids like popcorn best. Number seven, what kind of plant does corn grow from? Grass plant. Grass plant, that was in the first sentence. What is the plant stem like? Number eight. Well, the 
sentence says the plant stem is hard like what? Like bamboo. Bamboo. Number nine, what part of the corn is the seed? The seed part is the kernel. And number 10, what kind of corn do most kids like best? Most kids like popcorn best, popcorn for number 10. On the back of this worksheet is your homework. You are going to practice making more compound words. And then you have another paragraph to read with two questions to answer. Great job today.